Okay, so I got my truck back after it being out of my possession for about three years. And we're going to show you why you don't let people drive your vehicles. I mean, the paint was kind of messed up before, so that's not too bad. But the individual that had it had some problems with the brake lights and kind of jury rigged some mess here. And I've already cleaned out most of it. So what you're about to see is after it's been cleaned out. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely destroyed. Get the headliner up there. It's all filthy. And come around here. Oh, yeah, this, <laughs> this wire coming from the engine compartment. somebody keyed it real good then there's uh, there's this if you can believe this crap nice big dent in the door down there I don't know what happened there look at the seat look at this seat now, the seats weren't in great shape when I gave the individual the truck, but um, yeah, it still was completely covered, one or two small rips, and that's what it looks like on the passenger. Just, just look how filthy this is. Look at this speaker. Look at that. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't let people use your shit. I mean, this is... It's just ridiculous. So, yeah. I'm going to redo the entire interior. The plan is to go to the junkyard. See if I can't find some new seats and... Honestly, new seats, new headliner, new everything. If I can get if I can get a whole new interior, then I can't even look at this shit. Look at this dashboard. Can you believe this? And and again, this is after this is after I've cleaned out most of the trash. Because all of this area back here, all of this you could not see these seats because of the trash piled on top of it the the third row was folded down you could not see it because of the trash on top of it <sighs> yeah it's just it's it's just kind of unbelievable i mean i don't even know i don't even know what that is on these speakers uh, it, I mean, it still runs. Oop, got my finger in there. It still runs. I mean, I, I I actually drove it from where I had to pick it up from, which meant I had to sit in this friggin' nasty seat. Yeah, of course, you know, the bumper's kind of miss, missing a light down there. Don't know what that, don't know what happened there. The engine compartment's actually not horrible. But I'm going to need to replace the water pump. So that's going to be the first item of business is the water pump. So that I can actually drive it to the junkyard. Because it will be the only vehicle I have that will be large enough to carry everything I'm going to need to carry from the junkyard. And I just noticed the... I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's all rusted up top. So when I paint the top. So, yeah. Don't. <laughs> I 
don't let people borrow your stuff. That's the lesson that, that, that I take away from this. Don't let people borrow your stuff. All right, I'll get back to you guys here in a little bit. Okay, so we're back at the truck again. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find my tripod and my batteries and my camera were dead, so we didn't get to see the whole water pump removal. But I uh, had to take it out. Wound up having to replace the fan clutch and the fan because the, the thing was seized onto the pump. But, so we got the water pump in. And... We got it all cleaned out and also went ahead and took out the back seats and got them thrown away. So basically, instead of being extremely disgusting, it's only a little disgusting. But what I want to do is I kind of want to go over the game plan here for this thing. had to replace the tail light as well but she's legal now she's running but what we're going to do is we're going to remove all of this trim we gonna remove all the dash trim the door panels um probably need to replace the visors because there's some tears there but we're going to uh, we're going to change the whole interior color scheme. We're gonna we're gonna go with a black and gray, and get everything kind of cleaned up, recolored. The headliner is actually in really good shape, other than the fact that it's filthy. So oh, there's a little hole there. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I wonder. It looks like it's sagging over there. Walk around and take a look. Uh, yeah, it's sagging here. Well, that looks like, I don't know, maybe there was something that was supposed to go in there. Let's figure out how to get that back up so that it's sticking right. But, yeah, we're going to remove all the trim. We're going to remove the instrument panel, and that's going to get sent off to get repaired. The center console. I mean, the whole thing needs to be rehabbed. But what we're going to do, anyway, is we're going to work inside out on this on this restoration. We're gonna we're gonna get the inside all cleaned up. Now that it's running and it's running okay, um, I had to replace the caliper, and unfortunately, all that was off camera because uh, you know I couldn't find my tripod, but. But yeah, so it's still it's still pretty disgusting. We're going to fix that. Not sure why all this tape is up on the door. Uh, uh maybe to uh, there's some like there's like some weather stripping behind there. That's weird. I wonder what's going on with that. Well, the weather stripping is tape here too is but the weather stripping still there so I don't know what's going on with that but so yeah that's that's what we're that's the plan I mean it is it is really really disgusting I thought about wiping down and cleaning everything but since I'm gonna have to clean it to to recolor it I'm just gonna wait until I take the trim off and clean it up then because I'm going to have to pull, I mean, this has got like some kind of vinyl covering on it and I'm going to have to get all that off, probably sand through it so that I can recolor. Same thing with the glove box. It's all peeling. I'm going to get, I'm going to have to get all that off. But yeah, so that's the plan. And next time I see you, I will be
pulling trim.